Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. I am so excited to share a new functionality on Zoom. It's amazing and it basically utilizes AI technology. So if you're interested in some new functionalities that were just released in the last few days, utilizing AI within the Zoom app, then please keep on watching. Okay, so today I am so excited that Zoom has launched some new innovations and, and incorporated more AI technology. So one of the functionalities I've introduced is called Start Summary. So when you update your Zoom, you'll see another little icon on your toolbar saying Start Summary. So I'm going to invite my friend, dear friend David, to come and join in this meeting so that we can show you some of the really exciting releases in terms of the AI functionality within Zoom. So everyone, I would love to introduce you to my dear friend, David. Say hello to David, everyone. And David, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, good morning, Jenny. Uh, yes, uh, I've known you for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> Through many, many uh, iterations. Uh, my name is David Chai. I live in Hong Kong and I'm a retired banker enjoying my life. Yeah, so certainly modeling the die with zero and live life to the fullest. Okay, yeah, so. And I'm an ex statistician. <laughs> oh, yes, ex statistician. That's what we have in common, actually, right? <laughs> Mathematics. Now, I am so excited, David, to show you some of the new functionalities on Zoom. Mm -hmm. They've just introduced some new AI technology into Zoom. Have you seen it before? No, I haven't. I'm very excited to learn about it because we spoke about it just the other day during our walk. Yes, yeah, so everyone knows that I have a regular walk up the peak. David's one of my peak companions and we enjoy nature, feed our souls with nature and, and connect as well every week. So, okay, so you can see on my screen that there is a start summary and an AI companion. This was actually only released this week. So if you haven't updated your Zoom, you won't see these two new functionalities. And um, in the start summary, what I'm going to do is press that first so that everyone can see what's the pop-up box that comes up. And this pop-up box comes up for both David and I. David, what can you see? Yes, I can see the meeting summary with AI companion is on. And yeah. then it's asking me for a, some disclosure. There's exactly. some disclosure that's coming through. Exactly. And so I'm just, reading them now. And just to get everyone to agree that they actually do not use any audio, video, chat, screen sharing, attachments, or other communications. So that's kind of important. I'm going to press got it. I'm going to invite David to press got it. And you'll yep. see <laughs> now in this top left corner, there's a tiny little star that's kind of bursting. And that shows that the meeting summary is on. And basically, after this meeting, I have put it on a setting where I will receive a summary of our conversation today. So there's another another setting where I can set it where everybody receives the summary. But I always like to check over the summary because sometimes AI, you know, it's not human. So I like to check over for accuracy. And then I send out the summary. So I will be sent out a summary from Zoom. And I'm going to show everybody that after this. Perfect. I would love to receive a concise summary as well. <laughs> okay, so the other exciting AI functionality tool is AI Companion, which you can see right next to Start Summary. The AI Companion and the, start, and the Start Summary is actually only available for page Zoom users. And the AI Companion is only available for the host of the Zoom. So do you see that option, David? No, I do not. No, so that's because you're a participant. So let's yeah. press on AI Companion and you'll see a pop-up window on the right now. And it says, welcome to AI Companion. We can start transcribing your meeting. You and your participants will be able to ask questions about what's happening in this meeting. So I'm going to press start so that everyone can see what happens. And then a pop-up box comes up again. Do you get that as well? No, I do not. Okay, so that means that I've only got the AI companion for the host, and that basically says that Zoom does not use any audio, video, chat, screen sharing attachments, or other communications like content. So I'm going to press got it. And then, David, what I see is like three options. I can say, catch me up. Was my name mentioned? I'm going to say, David, David, David. Actually, <laughs> it would be my name. So. <laughs> Yes, Jenny. <laughs> okay. All right. And or what are the action items? So I'm going to press catch me up. 
and then let the AI do its magic. Oh, it actually says not much has happened since AI companion was turned on. Try again in a few minutes because I actually just did turn it on, right? So we didn't actually right. discuss anything. Okay, okay, so let's go then down. You'll see there's three dots. This is for everyone that's viewing the video. Uh, was my name mentioned? So, okay, I'm going to press that and just see what the AI companion... Not much has happened since I always turned on, I suppose. It's because we've got to turn it on and then have a conversation. So, okay, so let's give the AI companion some material to actually, you know, synthesize and find patterns in. Um, David, let me ask you a question. With the start summary and the AI companion, how would you find that useful in your daily life or would you find that useful in your daily life? Uh, yes, I would. Uh, I think what I would like to utilize from these AI tools uh, after this session, of course, you know, I, I, let me, uh, given that this is the start of uh, my my own journey and learning about AI, uh, is to help utilize and summarize information when we have Zoom meetings like this. Uh, so I'm hoping to see what the outcome from both AI companion and AI summary uh, after this meeting. Okay, great. Now, I hope that that's enough material for the AI companion to synthesize. <laughs> so I'm going to press the catch me up now and let's see what we've got. Oh, here we go. It's giving me a summary. Okay. I'm going to read it out to you, David. The meeting discussed the AI functionality tool called AI Companion, which is only available for the host of the Zoom meeting. The host demonstrated how to start the AI Companion and mentioned that it does not use any audio, video, chat, screen sharing, or other communications. The host also mentioned three options available with the AI Companion. Catch me up. Was my name mentioned? And what are the action items? However, since the AI Companion was just turned on and no discussion took place not much has happened yet <laughs> that's a pretty good summary right that's yep, pretty absolutely. accurate okay let me see if my name was mentioned i don't think it was but let's just see i'm going to press was my name mentioned and i wonder if it uses your zoom account name it says yes oh it says yes the question asked by dr jennifer chang waffle at the end of the meeting transcript was was my name mentioned for other by other meeting participants okay it's just kind of summarizing okay. um i'm just going to now press what are the action items what are the um action items here and just see i don't think we actually talked about any action items yeah we didn't it okay. actually says yeah it actually says the meeting transcript does not provide any information about action items after the meeting so do right. you want to talk about some action items and then see if it can pick that up and synthesize that i thought i did didn't i describe it just now i yes. wanted to see what how to utilize yes. the tool yeah. how to utilize the um, AI companion and AI summary yes. uh, tool after our meeting. Okay, all right, let me press that again. And I okay. think this is a great example and illustration of how the AI companion and the summary, they're not perfect and right. we still need to check over things. It still says there weren't any action items. So that means that, you know, with any transcript, with any a summary, we really have to check over it. But it's trying as much as possible to pick up on the words, find the patterns, and then it's a language model at the end of the day using algorithms. So I'm so excited about these new AI functionalities within Zoom. Thank you, David, for joining me and helping me to illustrate how these work. Uh, after this, I'm just going to show a quick summary. I'll email you, David, the summary, but I'll show everyone what the summary looks like of our meeting. And thank you so much for your time, David. Oh, well, I think thank you, Jenny. I think I would love to see the output from the summary and companion uh, function within Zoom. I do appreciate your insights and of, I think all caution, right, yes. about reviewing the outputs itself and based on our conversation today. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited about these new releases using the start summary and also the AI companion within the Zoom app. And I think it's really important that we actually double check the output because as we know, it's a large language model. It's only using algorithms and looking for patterns to be able to output what it gives you. And so you have the option as the host to either send the summary to yourself first or to everybody in the meeting. Now, I always tick the box, send the summary to myself first so that I can actually look over it, edit it. If there's anything that doesn't make any sense, I can just rewrite that. I can rewrite that with more accuracy. So they're the two really exciting AI releases within the Zoom app.
Thank you so much for joining me this week. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.